you seem to be very invested in young people. Um, just based on our earlier conversation, one thought is that, in a sense, their karma has yet to be determined for their lifetimes. They have more ahead of them, and therefore more can be changed. Mm. Yes. Does that play a role in your interest in them? Yes. I think that uh, they are our future. And uh, if I can leave uh, as a legacy just some ideas, some possibilities, some uh, resources, so that you know the next generation that uh, get trained with all this can have a better chance of making some progress, that would be that would be really remarkable. That's what I like to do, and um, I feel that the older generation of people, most of them, my generation people, it's very difficult to sit down and have an open conversation with them mm -hmm. because uh, they are they've got their minds made up and they've got to they're too invested in this. They're not free thinkers. Uh, like for instance, I'll tell you my. Most of my Indian American friends, mm -hmm. the kind that live in prosperous neighborhoods, Princeton areas and East Coast, they're all doing very well. They don't understand well, why I'm doing all this. I could be doing deals, making millions of dollars. I could be investing in something. For them, having spent, for me, my having spent 16 years, 17 years of my life full time doing this, is something they don't understand. They don't know why someone would do that when he had other options. And I start arguing because I think at that stage in life they are quite established, they are not likely to change, they are pursuing their ideas of living which tend to be material accumulation, uh, you know, just getting ahead in different ways and they, I, I, I have more fun when I visit their homes, I have more fun talking to the kids. Mm -hmm. And I, I sit down and ask the young people around, you know, what they're doing and what and so on. And I have more excitement dealing with them. Is the dharma of a child different than the dharma of an adult? Or are they just trying to self-actualize and realize the dharma of the adult? Yeah, I think the dharma is the, the, the person, dharma is evolving during their life and it evolves in a direction based on their choices. And so, unfortunately, sometimes parents push the child too much into a certain direction like as if my dharma has to become your dharma, that kind of an ego thing. Mm -hmm. I try not to do that in my kids. I, mean, I try to very explicitly over and over again let them make their choices, choose their careers, do whatever, they, whatever is their calling, experiment openly, feel safe in trying things, change their mind. And so uh, I never try to take my unfulfilled wishes and dump them on the kids and say, okay, now you got to carry out. And a lot of Indian parents are pressuring their kids to go into medicine or go into law or go into uh, industry or Wall Street or technology because there's some careers where you can do better and make more money. So they are applying their criteria of happiness and success onto the kids. And maybe the kid wants to become a musician or maybe the kid wants to become an artist or become a great chef or whatever. And they're not allowing or certainly not encouraging them to express that for themselves. So the children inherit the dharma of their parents rather they, than letting their own manifest itself. Yes, the children have their own dharma but it gets overridden, overruled by the parents imposing too much. Even in religion, I have uh, uh, you know, encouraged my kids to sort of decide for themselves, learn about different traditions and have their own ideas about spirituality.